Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make like doll notebooks, textbooks, that type of stuff for your doll. And then I'm going to show you how to make a binder, but that's going to be like later because this is like already going to be long because I, I know it's going to be long. So what you're going to need, you're going to need glue. It works best if you use glue sticks, but if, like, you're good with wet glue, then, you know, you can use wet glue. It's more of, like, your preference and what you have. So, yeah. And, like, if you want to, like, make it more realistic, you can use clear tape. And then if you don't have glue, then you can actually use tape, which is what I have done for my dolls because I have to remake their books all the time because I always they end up getting destroyed so it, when you use the tape it doesn't really destroy them so it's just more of the tape is going to be all disgusting and not destroying the book I, I don't know and then you're like obviously going to need some scissors um paper lots and lots of paper um yeah, you can use used paper as long as it's, like, not covered front and back, if that makes any sense. And then you're going to need paper that you don't care if you, like, get messed up. It's, like, more of a preference thing. And then you're, like, going to need, like, some coloring stuff. You know, you get the point, you know, like, just the basic stuff. And then you're going to need... A pencil or a pen or something to write with and I'm using a sharpie because I don't know but yeah so what you're going to do first is you're going to start out with folding with folding the folding the paper how you want it to be <clears throat> like let's say you was that you're going to like <sighs> it's like so hard because I already folded mine you're gonna like you know use this much then you're like gonna have all of this extra paper left <clears throat> so that's like actually more that more books you can make um but if like unless you're like making it for like a Barbie doll or like one of those types of dolls you're going to want to make it bigger because what I have, like, figured out is that if you cut it the exact size that you want it, then you're going to, like, when you put the paper in the inside, you're going to have to, like, cut it so that it's all even and stuff. So just, like, it's better if you, like, cut it bigger, I guess. So... Yeah, it's better if you cut it bigger. I always cut mine bigger. But, like, the bigger you, like, cut it, the more paper in the end you're going to end up wasting. But, like, if you do what I do and, and you um label your doll's books, like, for Gigi, this is her extra book. So, like, if they were to have to turn in their book or whatever I would know what doll it belongs to and like what subject it is so you're like really not really wasting that much paper but you are but you're not so yeah <clears throat> So, and it also depends, like, how many books you're going to make for your doll. Like, for my dolls, they have a lot of books because they have a lot of subjects. So, after you're, like, done cutting, you can, like, either you can decorate or you can put the paper in. I usually just decorate because I don't like coloring over glue because it's actually pretty disgusting and then you can like see like where the glue is when you try to co color over it 
so I just like go ahead and do my design and then if I mess up then like the paper isn't already in there so um I'm going to do my design I don't know what that design is gonna be but I'm going to like go ahead and design it and then I'll show you the next step Okay, I am not done designing, but I'm gonna show you like what I have so far. I tried to like draw a flower and you know this is like as close as I can get. Like I am not good at drawing flowers. I'm not good at drawing at all. <laughs> or like anything that involves drawing, I'm not good at. But I'm good at doing crafts, just like I'm not good at drawing. So yeah, this is, like, a horrible flower, but I hope that Kanani's, like, going to like it when I'm done, or else I'm going to, like, have to buy her or redo her books. So, yeah. See my horrible flower? Okay, so I finished. I just finished coloring it and decorating it. This flower... Yeah, I hope that Kanani likes it. It's not, like, really a good flower, but I tried, and that's all that matters. Um, yeah. I haven't made a flower, like, forever, like, probably since I've been, like, since, like, third grade. I probably haven't made a flower, so, which is fine, because, yeah. So, anyways, after you're done decorating, or even if you haven't decorated, and you're, like, waiting to add the paper, which I am, like, I said, I'm just, like, I have, like, old notebooks that, like, I mean, I don't need, um, anymore, and I usually just, like, use them for, like, my dolls and stuff. Um, but, like, now that, like, I'm using binders and folders, I don't really need a notebook. Um, so, and these are, like, books from last year. Like, I'm not a crazy person that goes to the store and buy a brand new notebook and take paper out of it because, you know, I would, like, just get lined paper if that was the case. But because I do have extra paper... Of kind of every sort, I guess you could say. It's just like... Yeah. But you can use whatever paper you want. Like, you can use computer paper. You can use graph paper. Whatever paper you want. So, yeah. So, unless you're an expert. Um, and you already know the size. Because, you know, you cut you know, your book out, and you're an expert, and, like, you know that it's going to be perfect, you can either, you can use a ruler, or you can cut it, you know, how you think, you know, me personally, I just put the paper in the notebook, and I start cutting, and I actually cut at the, the exact same size, so... Then, hold on. So, then, hold on. <laughs> so, I'm, like, probably not going to. Okay, so, I don't know where I left off. But you're, like, going to cut the paper. Like, you can put it in the book or you can cut it yourself. <sighs> or you can use a ruler. If you don't know the exact um, thingy, midjigger thingies. But it's just, like, easier if you just, like, put it in um, the notebook and do it. So, I'm going to show you again. Because, you know, yeah. Or maybe I won't show you again. Yeah, I'll show you again. So, just like, just like that and then what I always do so 
it looks more like a real notebook is since I use notebook paper you have like the one where you're gonna have the big piece of white at the top and then where it's like just all lines so what I do is I separate them I do I get one of each and um yeah so like when I glue it down this will be the first one and then this is going to be the first sheet that's going to be showing up and then yeah so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and show you the next step which will, will be gluing okay so now after you're done cutting it out, you're going to glue, and you are not going to glue the whole entire thing. I mean, the back, where it's, like, going to be all white, it's optional if you want to, like, glue the whole entire thing. I don't. I'm just, like, gluing, like, right here. Right here. Very close to the fold. And, like, I'm so sorry if you can't see this, but, like, it's, like nighttime and yeah it's nighttime <laughs> so it's like not really the best lighting because like the light went out and then when you go to